About a dozen students are here tonight. They're working with about three dozen mental health professionals talking through ways to handle the tragedy they're all experiencing. Three student deaths, one murder suicide involving a family in the district. This sounds unprecedented. Yes, it's been a difficult month. Dr. Carrie Ballinger has spent several recent mornings at Rock Castle's middle and high schools, giving students unexpected and unwanted news. Losing a friend is very difficult, no matter what age you are, but as a student and as a young child, it's very hard to process that grief. So our role as a district is providing support for them. Providing support after one tragedy, one student death is a lot for a district. This small rural district where many on staff are parents and neighbors has had four unexpected tragedies. It's heartbreaking to see kids grieve and we want to be able to support them. That's why Dr. Ballinger organized a community conversation outside school hours with dozens of local counselors and mental health professionals. Child psychologist Dr. Katherine L. Stone works closely with children in Lexington experiencing loss. When teenagers die in schools, especially in small towns or if there have been multiple deaths, it's really hard on teens because one of the main developmental tasks of adolescents is to have this connection with peers. So you start pulling away from families a little more and your peers become more important. Dr. Stone says it's important for parents to start a conversation and to let children grieve. Traumatic events impact every individual differently and even if you didn't know that person it could be that you're really struggling why is it important for you to talk about mental health with your students they have to know that it's okay to not be okay and that there's help and that we're here to support them and that we can help connect them and their parents and families with resources this is a one night only community conversation, but the superintendent really hopes that the ideas that come up through this conversation continue into the schools in the district and just become community wide efforts to help anyone struggling. In Rock Castle County, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT.